We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Minnesota Twins. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch of the at bat. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 oh and 2, but he certainly looked. Nope, that's brown. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. This is pulled into right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Not the Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Bradley gets his lead at first, nobody out. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. Bogarts just rakes left handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. However, he's not nearly as proficient when facing pitching from the right side. And it's fouled away. The 1 2. ball to third and they could get two to second for one on to first and they get the double play so bases are empty here with two gone and that brings up the third baseman Rafael Devers first delivery to him on the way and he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it it's 0 and 1 Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The right field. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Batting Not good job. Standing in now, Jorge Polanco. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. 0 oh and 2, here it is. A runner at first with no outs here. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. That is third. Stepping up no now, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. 
from the stretch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Runners on first with one down. Pulled toward right center field. Pilar's there. And that's the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Miguel Sano. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, and next will be the imposing power bat, Mitch Moreland. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Popped up. Garver waits on it. One out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No score here as we play inning number two. One ball and one strike to their D.H. here tonight. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kepler is there, and he'll bring this one in. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Verdugo. Here's the first pitch to him. 0 and 1 the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. And he wastes a fastball high there, 1 and 2. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Hit hard to short. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. That is seven. The Christian Vasquez. To the plate now, Christian Vasquez. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ready with the 0-1. Line drive to center field. Buxton is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Luis Arias. The second baseman, Luis. That's lifted the other way out to left. Bradley is there. One down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. So digging in now, Brian Reynolds will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Ball. 
And this is popped up near second base. Bogarts is under it. And that's the third out. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Eric Sogard. Eric Sogard. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Rosario is there. And that's the first out of the inning. One gone here in the Boston third. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. First pitch on its way. Grounded to first. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So here now is Jackie Bradley, a base hit in his first trip. Jackie Bradley now here's the pitch. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Popped him up. Donaldson onto the grass. He can't get to it. This one's down. And he'll reach first safely. The bat, number two. Bogart. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Fly ball out toward left center field. Buxton is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. So striding forward now, Mitch Garver as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The catcher. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch takes this the other way to right. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. So that will bring in Byron Buxton. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Here's a high pop up. There now is Moreland, and he's got it for the second out. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the outfielder Max Kepler. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Verdugo has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. All set for the start of the fourth, and set to go is the third baseman, Rafael Devers. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Up next for the Red Sox, the first baseman, Nick Moreland. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. As he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And that's the second out. So 
a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo. He's set and the pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hill one. Grounded back up the middle. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. The throw home. And not in time as the run scores. Now back. The catcher. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. This pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Swung on and missed, and that's the final. Leading off the inning, Jorge Polanco, and they'll need him to get something going here. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Pilar. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. The left fielder, number 20. Eddie. And now, Eddie Rosario. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he misses with it, one and one. Turned on down the line. Thought about coming home, but he'll go to first instead. And the throw goes to first for the out, but that'll be enough to get the run home as they pull back to even at one and one. Miguel Sano is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Not shocked by their aggressive nature at the plate today, but they got to change their M.O. if they're going to compete in this one. And that's through for a base hit, make him one for two in this one. No matter, number two. Into the box, Luis Arias. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. On to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and set to go is the second baseman, Eric Sogard. Eric Sogard. First offering on its way. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Next up for the Red Sox, Kevin Pillar. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Has a look, now the pitch. On, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. Oh Line towards center field. Buxton is right there, one down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. 
Striding in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Two balls, no strikes. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Ready for another chance? Xander Bogarts. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And they take the lead. It's gone. Here now is Rafael Devers. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. And he fouls this one off. One one. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. Object for the right side. The first baseman, Nick. New pitcher set to take Ladies over now. It's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. At the plate now, Mitch Moreland. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. No hits to this point. A one count. Here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. Long run. Buddy gets there to track this one. Leading off the inning, Josh Donaldson, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Austin Bryce, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Up next for Minnesota, the designated hitter, Ryan. Stepping in now, Brian Reynolds. In the dirt here. Ah, they put the tag on him, and he is out at first base. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Drilled on the ground is short, and Reynolds has himself a base hit. The catcher, number eight. 
at the plate, Mitch Garver. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. One run, five hits, and one error make up the totals for the Twins to this point. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Here's Byron Buxton now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the veteran DH, J.D. Martinez. Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Hit high in the air down the right field line. In there, a base hit. He's through first and hustling for second. The right field, number 99, Alex Verdugo. Standing in now, Alex Verdugo. A swing and a ground ball to third. And a good throw gets him one gun. Runner at second, one away. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is there now, and he has it. Two gone. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that will bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's in the dirt. The 0 1 pitch. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Max Kepler. The right fielder, Max Kepler. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Here's the 0 1. Count remains at 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's one and two. If I'm in the box you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Ready once again for hit Polanco. He tripled earlier making him one for two in the ball game. A little bouncer, but it gets foul. Here comes the 0-1. Grounded up the first baseline. Moreland's there, and he is out on the tag. Digging in once again, Eddie Rosario. He was a ground out victim last time up. Rosario. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. 
You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one by the look. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Here's Miguel Sano as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Sliced hard on the ground. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. In now, Luis Arias, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that is third baseman. Josh Donaldson digging in now as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. He's one for two in this one. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Chasing after it is Pilar. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Kevin Pillar. Kevin Pillar. He's set. Here it comes. And that gets the black on the outside. A good slider that time. And he popped him up. In comes Kepler. But he won't get there. It falls in. Jackie Bradley Jr. Into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Down the first baseline. Scooped up, one there. On to first, and they get them both. Digging in and looking for more, Xander Bogarts. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And now a pitch on the way. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 1. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike.
smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. Now battle, the first base Morland. So now to the plate, Mitch Moreland. And it's fouled away. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4-2 our score. Ball Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, 1 and 2. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now 1 and 2. A good fastball that backed him off the plate. And then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the classic ways to mess up a hitter's timing. Up and in, down and away, textbook. Fly ball right down the line and left. Bradley on the run. But he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And the Twins have something brewing right away. It's a leadoff double. The catcher, number eight. Marcus Walden comes on now. And he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Good cutter there, and he's got him behind the eight ball now, 0 and 2. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Mitch Garver is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. On oh, a bad decision there as they won't get him at third. Ready now, Max Kepler. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. From the stretch, here's the pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Pilar moving in. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1 on its way. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Runners on first and third, two away. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that will get one if not both of them home. And the tying run is in to score all the way from first. It's a 4-4 game. The left fielder, number 20. To the plate now, Eddie Rosario. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's working on a one for three thus far. Comes set, 
the 0 1 behind 0 and 2 now. 0 and 2 here it is got him swinging and that will end the inning. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Matt Wisler has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Whistler. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Pitch on the way. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Standing in, Alex Verdugo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he'll step off and try again. We're in the eighth inning now of a 4 to 4 ball game. That one's in there. Three and one. The count is three and one. And he lays count. off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? There's one. On to first. Man alive. What a double. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And digging in is the big time power threat. Miguel Sano. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Into the box, Luis Arias. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. One out, nobody on. Swinging a soft liner. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. The third baseman, number 24. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Up next for Minnesota, Brian Reynolds. Two for three with a double on his line so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss. 0-1. 
He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. His pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Now batting, Eric Sogard. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Eric Sogard. First pitch on its way. Now the 1 0. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Now at the plate, Kevin Pillar. Last time through was a base hit. Pillar. Here comes the first pitch. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. And the slider gets him swinging to God. The left field. Jackie Bradley Jr. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0-2. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever... A swing and a miss. That retires the side. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And now it'll be the catcher, Mitch Garver. The catcher. First pitch of the at-bat. Garver. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Offer at that one, it's a cold strike. A 1 1. And it's fouled away. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The better fielder. Into the box ball. now. Byron Buxton. Byron. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Max Kepler. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. There goes Buxton. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. Ready for another shot now for Hippolanco. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Line hard to center field. And this is down. And that should do it. And they're going to walk off here with a 5-4 win. Every game has its offensive stars. And in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our tops player of the game. And he was locked in at the plate up there. You could really see it in his approach.